Jericho and Mike Tyson got into a pull apart. And oh my God, Tyson mm. and his crew, mm. especially this Gooch fella. And that's Gooch. his real last name, by the way. Gooch. Was he on different strokes? So this is what was explained to me. This is not from Chris Jericho. I have no idea. I have no idea what he thought about it, except I guess he's done done a couple of uh, of interviews, but I was told from people there that nobody had any idea that Tyson was going to come out with that many guys. And he came out with his whole posse, including this fella named Gooch, who looked like he had no idea where he was at or what he was doing. He had face paint on. I don't even know why. Which largely just consisted of black rings around his eyes, which, as far as I know, may not even have been face paint, for all I know. He's out there, and and the whole idea is trying to get over the idea of Chris Jericho and Mike Tyson jaw-jacking and then having a pull-apart, right? This Gooch dude is totally trying to steal the show. And unfortunately, I, I can't take my eyes off the guy. And between him and Mike Tyson, like, being so wacky, he's so weird. I mean, it was like, it was a circus. But... I mean, the positive I can say is I couldn't take my eyes off it for like two seconds. I could not take my eyes off the screen. And Tyson's there trying to rip his shirt off, but he can't. It's like he's got it halfway ripped off, and then he's trying to pull it over his head, but then he can't even do that. So finally he just gives up. And then he's doing this weird flexing, and I can't even call it mean mugging. I don't even know what it was he was doing. And finally he remembers to shove Jericho. Jericho shoves him, and then we have the... Steve Austin, Mike Tyson pull apart. Virtually, it looked virtually identical to the pull apart from from January 1998. Mike Goldberg. And then, of course, all the all the wrestlers hit the ring, and like Gooch is being all wacky, and I'm just dying for Hager to just give him a beating, but it didn't happen. But anyway, it got mainstream publicity, and it's one of those angles where we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see where they go with this. They're taping today. I'm pretty sure Tyson's going to be there. Tyson did a, a promo uh, for their social media afterwards without the gooch. And, you know, Jericho, I'm sure, will be there next week. And maybe there'll be some interference in whatever match Jericho does. We'll see what they do. Are they going to do a Jericho-Tyson match? Are they going to do a match where Tyson has somebody to represent him against Jericho? I don't know what they're going to do or when. But we'll we'll see where this goes. I mean, it was, it was something else. You think we end up with more gooch? <laughs> you think that? Oh happens? God! I, I, I mean, I presume we're gonna, cause like, it's Tyson, so he's got his crew, and you know, interestingly enough, Vitor Belfort was there, and Henry Cejudo was there, who, who looked so nervous to be involved in a pro wrestling angle. I mean, he was just, he looked petrified. But he was tri- he was petrified, but Triple C had all the confidence in the world. I was screaming at the TV because Rashad. Just, that well, that was the thing. Nobody mentioned Rashad. Well, like, Mike, hold Rashad on a second. His new hair. Hold on. What? Like I said, nobody knew all of these guys were going to come out with Tyson, and so but wait, wait and, as we were discussing last night on the Observer Radio Show, I mean, you know, Tyson had all these guys backstage with him. I and, can understand and, that. And, and like nobody knew it was I didn't know it was Rashad because who is in Gorilla? Rashad grew his hair out, and well, he looks he looks totally different. I recognize him look after that different. Oh, dude, I recognize him after well, it was brought to my attention. But he, he I, uh, listen, I don't blame I, the announcer for this one. I I don't blame I don't anybody know. for this except Tyson <laughs> going in a <laughs> business for himself. I I, uh, I I guess so. But here's my thing is. You, Tyson is there with Vitor Belfort, who was already there. Uh, was Dan Lambert there? I, I don't know. But Cejudo was there, and Cejudo is a former UFC champion. Rashad Evans, former UFC champion, a man who is obviously, once he's pointed out at the very least, known to be a part of the UFC and a recognizable name and face. Why would Excalibur not know those guys? Why would they at least not? I can understand going, I don't know Mr. Grimm or... You know, Spanky or whoever these geeks, the rest of them were. But, like, those guys you should probably know and want to get over and announce. And when you're doing this thing, which was 
let's be honest, a takeoff of a takeoff of a takeoff. We have seen this song and dance before. Where they go with it, as far as having everybody involved, is a different story. But we've seen this pull apart before. I don't know if that was... I can't believe that those other guys weren't going to come out with him and you don't mention them. When JR threw it to Excalibur and he whiffed, it was like... (laughs) It was just... It was a painful moment. And then... I don't want to say it got worse because I don't know what kind of publicity it got. You're saying it got good mainstream attention. I didn't see where this all the footage ended up at today. But like it didn't seem like it was that great, and it seemed to get kind of worse as it went on. It, again, it, I just thought it was really... I well, thought it was really corny, and then listen, to, to not even know who was there, it, I thought came across kind of whack. It was a train wreck, okay? That it was. It was a train wreck. If you want to say it sucked, like, I'm not going to argue with you. I didn't think it sucked. I thought that, you know what it reminded me of, actually? It reminded me of when you see some crazy happening in a, in a UFC, on a UFC show or in an MMA fight. And there are a bunch of people involved who they aren't pro wrestlers. And so it doesn't, it, listen, it did not come off polished at all. But you know what? <laughs> like, the one thing I will say about, about the angle and about Tyson is I don't believe for one second that this, this guy's playing some sort of character. Like, it, <laughs> he's just so weird. What in God's name was he talking about, about Jericho stealing some championship? What's he talking about? He's just going crazy, and, I mean, it, it, it just it didn't feel like a wrestling angle. It felt like something crazy that happened on a show, which is actually what it was. 